It's one of the fastest growing school districts in the nation. But in order to keep growing, Northside ISD says it needs more funding. Aaron Nichols gives us the breakdown of a new school bond that may be in the works for 2014. School may almost be out, but the Northside Independent School District is already looking ahead to 2014 and a new school bond. Well, we're at the very, very early stages of planning the next bond election. This fall, the district will open two new elementary schools and a middle school. It will also be hiring almost 300 new staff members. But the district is growing faster than it can build classrooms. Over one half of all the homes that are built in Bear County, they're built within Northside School District boundaries. With an estimated 2,500 to 3,000 new students every year, the district is looking at a bond to build that needed space. The last bond was passed in 2010, and some parents said they'd support a new one. We do have a lot of kids, and we do need more schools. I've only lived here three years, but I've seen the growth. Although the 2014 bond could go towards building new schools, it could also go towards renovating existing ones, which some parents feel might be the better way to go. I think a lot of money is wasted. On, on building. Maybe add on to the schools. Um, I don't think we need more schools. The district has been able to hold off another bond election through planning and a slowdown in new students, but it's only pushed things back an extra year. As overcrowding continues, the district says whether it's in 2014 or beyond, another school bond is coming. But the fact is, is that children keep coming to Northside ISD. We need more schools. It's inevitable that we present a bond election to our community. Aaron Nichols, Fox News at 9. There are three more schools that still need to be built out of the last school bond in 2010. Those are scheduled to open in 2014 and 2015.